Good afternoon. I'd like to call to order. Uh, I'd like to call to order the regular council meeting of the District of Chetwin, February seventh, twenty twenty-two, at four to thirty p.m. Please stand for the reading of the opening statement. Thank you. Thank you. Adoption of the agenda. Are there any, does anybody have any additions to the agenda? So moved. Second. All in favor? Thank you. Minutes of the regular council meeting held on January 10th, 2022. Motion to receive. Second. All in favor? Thank you. Delegations and presentations, we have none. Bylaws, uh, we do have a bylaw. District of Chetwin Official Community Plan Bylaw number 1140 is included under the reports for action portion of this agenda as item number RA4. Committee reports and liaison reports. Do any councillors have anything today? No. no. Go ahead, Councillor Disher. Okay, just a quick quick update on the Chainsaw Carving Championship. Um, they will make a decision finally uh, on their next March meeting as to whether or not they're going to go forth with the competition. As it looks right now, they probably will. I know they really want to. Um, they received a $15,000 grant from fairs, festivals, and event recovery. And thank you very much to Councillor Weisgerber for passing on that information for us. And uh, they have three new board members. So they'd like to welcome Corey Martin, Danielle Foster, and Kathleen Connolly. So we will have an update next month and hopefully fingers are crossed that they can go ahead and they can start planning their COVID plan. And that's all I have. Thank you. Yes, fingers crossed. Anyone else? Okay. Um, as acting mayor, I do have something. I would like to present Ellen McVaney with her 20 years service award. Uh, Ellen, your many years of service are a true testimony of your dedication to the District of Chetwind, and you are truly valued for your contrib uh, contributions. Congratulations on 20 years of service. items uh, D1 one uh, sorry di1 email from Curtis Brewster dated January 25th 2022 regarding rezoning I am going to excuse myself for this one thank you I'll make that recommendation that count Council authorize administration to confirm its position as outlined on the letter to the PRRD dated August 18th, 2020 is attached. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Discussion item DI2, letter from Chetwin Rotary Club dated February 3rd, 2022 regarding letter of support. Yes, thank you. I can have a motion for DI2, please. I'll make the recommendation that I council. Make that motion. Sorry, Clay, go ahead. 
Uh, that council, uh, council provide a letter of support to the Chetwin Rotary Club for its grant application to NDIT for recreation infrastructure for outdoor sports track. I would second that. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Correspondence? We have C1 through 4. Does anybody need anything pulled out of there? Motion receives C1 to C4. Second. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Information items CII 1 through 10. Motion received. Motion to receive. All second. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Reports for action, RA1, Zoning Amendment, 4700 and 4704, 52nd Street, Northwest. I'll make that recommendation that the official community plan amendment bylaw, 1144-2022, and the zoning amendment bylaw, 1145-2022, at 4700 and 4704, 52nd Street, Northwest, be introduced and given first and second readings, and that a public hearing be scheduled to obtain public input on the official community plan amendment bylaw on February the 22nd, 2022 at four o'clock. Second. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. And I will excuse myself for RA2 and RA2A. RA2 development permit application for Dagar Resources Incorporated. I'll make that motion that council approve the issuance of development permit number 01 2022 to Dagar Resources Inc. for construction of an addition to the existing shop building at 4528 44th Avenue Northeast, Lot 5, Plan 24681, Peace River Regional District. DL 494. I'll second that and I have a question. Okay, okay. Councillor Weisgerber. So I, I have a question about this. Um, and I, when I look in the, um, sorry, I just had to get to it. What is it called? The Schedule A where the, the person fills it out. In there it says that they will be in um, reducing, oh no, sorry. Oh, uh, but the Back, in, back the back of the facility with a recapture to clean and sanitize units. So the water that they're using when they say recapture, does that mean that this is water? Because I'm assuming it's gonna be a lot of coal, like their coal trucks, stuff like that, that's going to be going onto the ground. Is this going to be recaptured so it's not going into our sewer systems? Yes, yeah, so our director of um, engineering and public works has said that she wants to have a really good look at that at their water plan so it they have to they have to abide by um, northern health standards so and our sewer system and our storm drainage system is all designed with northern health in, in mind so we'll be having a really close look at that and make sure that it, it adheres to northern health standards for sure so whatever system that they decide on they haven't got to that point yet and they haven't applied for a building permit yet so that will all be part of the building permit process awesome thank you any other questions? I'll call the vote then. Uh, four. Opposed? Sorry, uh, Councillor Disher, is that four or against? Sorry, that was four. Okay, there's a slight delay. <laughs> Motion carries. RA 2A, Business Facade Improvement Program Application 2022. I'll make that rec recommendation that council approve the issuance of a development permit number 012022 to Dagar Resources Inc. for construction of an addition to the existing shop building at 4528 44th Avenue Northeast, Lot 5, Plan 24681, Peace River Regional District, DL 494.
CAO. I think we're on the next report now for the facade. RA2A. Yeah, RA2A. Yeah. Did I read the wrong one? No. Nope. Well, I might very well have. Just, it's for, just for the facade improvement. Right. Right. Sorry, I read the wrong one. Oh, no problem. Authorize the business facade improvement program grant application for 4528 44th Street, Chetwin, BC, included as attachment A to this report and authorize the mayor and corporate officer to execute a partner agreement with Digar Resources, Inc. 4528 44th Street, Chetwin, BC. I'll second that. Any discussion? Call a vote for against it carries RA3 walkway and lighting funding application I can make that recommendation that council approve the application to NDIT for the community places grant for the walkway and lighting recreation boulevard center boulevard project and that council approve the application to NDIT for the main main street Revi revitalization capital grant for the Chetwin downtown revitalization lighting walkway bike and enhancement project and that the 2022 financial plan be amended accordingly all in favor any opposed? I have a question on that, John. Um, sorry, question on that. Go ahead, Laura. <laughs> um, so this is um, a, that's a, just in front of the rec center that we're looking at, right? As far as the lighting? Oh, sorry. Uh, the lighting program for just, for the um, first one, yes. It's front, in front of the recreation center. Okay, and are we doing a path through there too, or is it? Yeah? Correct. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. So uh, it was carried. Um, on to RA4 Official Community Plan Bylaw 1140-2022. If I can get a motion. It's still loading. Sorry. <laughs> My computer is a little. I'll make the recommendation that the District of Chetwin Official Community Plan Bylaw Number 1140 2022 be introduced and given first reading and be sent to referral agencies for feedback. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Reports for information. Um, RI1, December accounts payable checklist. I'll make that recommendation that the check register for the month of December 2021 totaling $520,384.62 be received. Second. Discussion or questions? All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. RI2 Bylaw Enforcement Activity Report, September through December 2021. Make that recommendation to receive for information. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Any opposed? Carried. And there was no new business, I don't believe. Any public, uh, public question period, any questions from the public? Hearing none, moving on to adjournment. So moved. Second. Carried.